today I am so excited because I am joined by my fellow fabulous DIY enthusiast, Christina, from the blog I DIY for this, which I am dying for, by the way. Hey, thank you. I am Aww. so excited to show you guys a couple really fun, easy ideas that can make any baby shower a little more fabulous. As you know, I think one of the first most important things for any party or celebration is florals. Wouldn't you agree? I totally agree, and it is my favorite part of the party. But it can also be the most expensive part of the party. True. So Unless true. you do it yourself. I'm obsessed with garland. So I. So we are going to make our own today and then kind of make it a little bit more fabulous with some of the hydrangeas and other flowers put in. We've got two kinds of greens here, just these big full fun leaves and then these more what, seeded leaves? Yeah, I think these are um, seeded eucalyptus leaves. Fancy. And if you want to use floral wire, you can, but Lee and I kind of like just the flowy natural, lay it down and you can move it around if you don't like a certain spot. Um, so we're doing it with no floral wire. Let's be honest, we also like the easy, lazy ones, so. <laughs> exactly. I feel like it, this is amazing on its own. Yeah, I love it. But we are not stopping there. We are now gonna add in our finishing touches with our big flowers, our hydrangeas, and our little pops of white. We got these large rubber duckies from Amazon and we're like, let's spray them gold. YOLO. YOLO. <laughs> so what you're going to need for this is the duckies, obviously. You're going to need spray paint. Now you're going to need a primer because you want the spray paint to stick to these guys because they are plastic. So it's very important to get a primer and then a gold metallic spray paint and then finish off with a clear spray paint. The clear coat is really important because if you don't spray them clear after you apply the gold spray paint, they can get sticky and your finger guests can show up. And then lastly, the finishing touch is the bow tie, of course, if you're having a boy. But if you're having a girl, you can do fresh flowers around the neck, pearls, you can just give it your own spin. Next up are these adorable bird cages. Now we found this one that's gold, but they can you can find them anywhere. Yeah. And if they don't come gold, you can always spray paint them gold or whatever color that your theme is. And we are just gonna fill them with baby's breath. So you're gonna wanna kind of break it all up and just kind of shove it through, and then you can trim. And I like to just kind of shake it in to the cage so it kind of sticks out. You can pull it through in certain spots if you want it to be a little uneven because remember, imperfect is perfect. So adorable. And then hang them from trees or just hang them around. You can hang them around your venue. Everyone's played the memory game, but we decided to put a chic spin on it and we're going to do the same thing, but we're gonna spray paint all the items white to make it a little more confusing. What you're going to need is a tray to put all of your items on. You're going to need some paper and some pencils. You're going to need some white spray paint or any color that you want to use. And then, of course, all of the baby items, which can be purchased at the Dollar Tree or... 99 cent store. Yeah. You're going to need your pen and paper. Um, pass it out to your guest and then take the tray, set it on the center of the table or you can have someone walk around with it and give your guests 10 seconds to figure out what's on there. So then they have to remember what is on the tray and how many quantities. Yes, and then the bonus, because I'm sure you're gonna have like it maybe a tiebreaker, is how many items are on the tray. Brilliant, and I love this game because number one, it's really easy, and number two, it looks so fabulous. Every fabulous party should have like a takeaway gift, right? A party favor. And this is a really great way to impress your guests and leave them with something that they can really, really enjoy. And that's making a really cute little bunch of flowers that they can make themselves and take on their way. So the first thing we need is chopping block paper cut in all different various sizes, just kind of square and there's no rhyme or reason to it. Baker's twine, scissors, and a sign that tells them thanks a bunch. Thanks a bunch. Again, you can get these flowers at your grocery store, farmer's market, really anywhere. They do not have to be expensive. Wow. 
Well, Christina, thanks a bunch for all of your help Best today. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and stay tuned next week because I'll give you a sneak peek inside my very own baby shower, what? which Christina will be helping with. Thank God. So and funny. make sure you guys check out Christina's website, I DIY for this. It's brand new and it's fabulous. And all of the information is down below. And if you guys try out one of these projects, tag us in it because we want to see it. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.